hello students welcome back to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed my channel yet and now we are going to solve this problem which says that determine the reactions acting on the smooth uniform bar which has a mass of 20 kg so we have this uh, uniform bar of mass 20 kg and we have to find the reaction so at a the surface is going to apply the reaction in the upward direction and this support will apply the reaction in this direction so let me show those reactions so here we will have let's say a y reaction and here we will have a x and at b this surface will apply the normal force and the normal force will be perpendicular with this surface so let's say this is this is let's say B so this B support reaction is perpendicular with this surface remember now if I draw a, a line perpendicular with this with this bar right so let's say that this orange line is perpendicular with this bar but if if I draw a line at B which is let's say Per, uh, vertical line let's say if I draw a vertical line like this now as we can see that this orange line this orange line is perpendicular with this line and this vertical line is perpendicular with the horizontal line this horizontal line so this vertical line is perpendicular with this horizontal line and this orange line is perpendicular with this line so the angle between this line and this line is 30 degrees then the angle between these two orange line is also 30 degrees so let me write that this angle is 30 degrees now as we can see that if i draw a horizontal line again now this line is perpendicular with this horizontal line as we know but this b is perpendicular with this inclined surface this is perpendicular with this inclined surface so the angle between this inclined surface and the horizontal is 60 degrees then the angle between this B and this vertical line is 60 degrees. So we can write that this B is making 60 degrees like this with this vertical line. So now from this, if this is 30 degrees, then we can say that this angle is also 30 degrees. So let me write that this angle is also 30 degrees. So this is very important since we have to resolve this B force. So let's say if uh, if we want to find the summation of moment about point A, so we need to resolve this B force along this line perpendicular to the axis of the of this uniform bar. Uh, so if I resolve this B, it's this B will have one component in this direction that is perpendicular to the line and the axis of the B, the axis of the bar. So this black component, this is B cause of 30 degrees and we will have one another component and that component will be along the axis of the bar so this one will be b sine of 30 degrees and since the bar has its uh, mass that is 20 kg so 20 multiplied by 9.81 is the weight and that weight will be acting at the mid length of this bar so let's say that the weight is acting somewhere here and this is 20 times 9.81 let's find this this is 20 multiplied by 9.81 this is 196.2 the weight is 196.2 newton this is the weight so now if i draw uh, another line let's say if i draw a line here and this orange line is again uh, perpendicular to the axis of the bar let's say let's say if this line is perpendicular so then the line of action of this weight is perpendicular with this horizontal line so this this orange line is perpendicular with this line and this vertical line is perpendicular with this line the angle between this line and this line is 30 then the angle between the weight and this perpendicular line is 30 as well so we will write that this angle is 30. So now we can resolve this weight into its components. So I will resolve the weight. We will have the weight like this and we will have one component like this. So this one will be, since the angle is made with this component, this is the cos component. We can write that this is W cos of 30 
and this component is W sine of 30. Now to find these reactions AX, AY and this B, we have to apply the equilibrium conditions and for that I'm going to apply the summation of moments about point A, this must be equals to zero. The counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive. Now, as we can see that this sign component is passing through that point A, it's not going to produce the moment about that point A. And this sign component of B is also passing through that point, it's not going to produce the moment about that point A. And AX and AY, they are also passing through this point B, they are not going to produce the moment. So AY, AX, sign component of W and sign component of B, they are not going to produce the moment about point A. So this cos component is producing the clockwise moment about this point a so i will write w cos of 30 so it is producing clockwise moment so we will write minus w is 196.2 cos of 30 and the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point a is two meters the length of this bar is four meters so this the moment arm of this cos component from that point a is two meters so we will multiply this with two Similarly, this cos component is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point A. So we will write plus, this is plus B cos of 30 and the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point A is the length of this bar which is 4. So we will multiply this with 4 and this is equal to 0. So now from this we can write that B cos of 30 degree into 4 is equal to plus 196.2 cos of 30 into 2 and if we divide both sides of equation by cos of 30 into 4 so this will cancel out and this will cancel out so B is equal to 100 and 196.2 multiplied by 2 divided by 4 this gives us 98.1 b is equal to 98.1 newton so this is the support reaction at b now to find this ax and a y we need to resolve this b force along the x and y we have resolved this b force normal and parallel to the axis of this bar now we need to resolve this b force into the x and y component so for x and y we know that this b is making 60 degrees with the vertical so now if we resolve this b force along the x and y so we will have one component like this this one this will be the cos component since we are now considering this 60 degree angle this b force is making 60 degree angle so this one will be b cos of 60 now and this component will be b sine of 60 let me erase this these components now so now we have these two components this is b cos of 60 and b sine of 60 and this weight is already acting in the y direction so now if we apply the summation of forces along x that must be equals to zero this is in the positive x direction so as we can see that this ax is acting in the positive x so plus ax and this sine component is acting in the negative x so we will write minus now b magnitude is known which is 98.1 sine of 60 this is equal to zero and ax is equal to 98.1 sine of 60 98.1 sine of 60 so ax is equal to 84.957 newtons and then if you apply the summation of forces along y that must be equals to zero in the upward the upper direction is the positive y direction so now as we can see that this ay is in the upward direction so we will write plus a y minus that weight weight is acting in the downward direction so this is minus 196.2 and this cos component of b is acting in the positive y direction so we will write plus b is again 98.1 cos of 60 the cos component is acting in the upward direction 
and this is equal to zero so now from this we can say that a y equals to 196.2 minus 98.1 cos of 60 196.2 minus 98.1 cos of 60 this gives us a y equals to 147.15 newton so this is the support rejection at a in the y direction and this is the support rejection at a in the x direction and at b we have 98.1 newton support reaction from the surface so this is the solution of this problem i hope it will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if all these videos helps in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from hibble statics